Chapter 9, Mishnah 8. Wool and linen are forbidden as shotness only if they are combined in a specific manner. manner. The Mishnah uh, explains. We now turn to the words of the Mishnah. A fabric is not prohibited as kilayim unless it is made of wool and linen threads that were spun and woven. That is, the wool and the linen were spun into thread, each on its own, and the threads were then woven together into cloth. However, if wool and linen were not spun into thread, but woven together in their unfinished states, the combination is not shotness. Likewise, if wool and linen were each spun into thread, but were then simply pressed together and not woven, the result is not shotness. The Mishnah derives this law from a verse in the Torah. Only wool and linen that are spun and then woven are shotness, as it is stated in De Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 11. You shall not wear shotness. The word shotness refers to something that is shua, smooth, tavui, spun, and noz, woven. This teaches that both spinning and weaving, as well as smoothing, are necessary to make a garment shotness. Having taught a law that is learned from the word shotness, the Mishnah cites a lesson about the severity of the sin that is also learned from the word. Rabbi Shimon ben Alazar says, a person who wears shotness turns away from the correct path and causes his father in heaven to turn away from him. This is alluded to by the final syllable of the word shotness, nez, which is similar to the word naloz, to turn away and melez, to cause others to turn away. By wearing shotness, a person shows that he is turning away from God and rebelling against him. In response, God turns away from the person and does not show him mercy.